Peter, thanks for joining me on site from your Yerbas Buenos project in Chile. You can see it's nice and early for you, so I really appreciate you joining me today. And with good timing following a solid bounce in your share price. In late January, you reported some cracking grades from two holes at the project with relatively thick intersections of magnetite, which graded at around 64% iron, which shows that you continue to encounter very high grade magnetite. What are the highlights as you see them from the assays reported so far? Yeah, look, thanks, Alex. Thanks for uh, the opportunity to talk to you. Um, as you can see, it's pretty early here at Yerbas Buenos in uh, Chile. Um, sun's just come up. Uh, yeah, look, uh, our results have all been really, really encouraging so far. I mean, uh, the last uh, data that we reported showed those 54 metres at, uh, you know, over 60%. Um, we also had the, uh, the results from last year's RC drilling program, which is the uh, northern end of uh, the structure that we're on at the moment, which was hole 16, which was... I think uh, 14 metres at 61%. Um, yeah, I mean, everything's been going going really well. And uh, uh, yeah, I think we expect some more uh, high grade uh, intersections to come out. Um, important to uh, remember though, that there are some lower grade sections within that, but uh, the structure at the moment, the way it looks, uh, it lends itself to being high graded. So uh, yeah, um, some more uh, assays coming out very shortly. Okay, excellent. As you mentioned, you will have more assays pending and you will obviously report those progressively as they come to hand. Are you compiling an updated mineral resource estimate from the results of this program? And what's the likely time frame of that? Yeah, look, uh, we've just completed uh, the last of the logging uh, at site here in, uh, in Chile. Those samples have just recently been completed uh, all prepping stage at the laboratory, uh, uh, the local laboratory here in Chile. They're going to be sent off to uh, Western Australia for final assaying. Uh, we expect that process to take another several weeks. Um, and then uh, the objective will be to uh, put all that information into a, uh, into a Jork resource, mineral resource estimate, which uh, we, we would expect would probably come out sometime uh, very late March. Excellent. So if I can turn to future project development as well, What's the strategy here? Are you looking to develop the project on your own or are you attracting any third-party interest? All options are open at this stage. As I said, uh, completing the Jork uh, resources is sort of one of our primary objectives, but we've had a lot of uh, interest locally within Chile from third parties, people that would like to become involved in the project, help develop the project. Um, I think uh, we'll report on that more formally as uh, those, those situations become clearer. Um, some of those options uh, would result in us not needing to export our concentrate and essentially selling uh, product at the gate. But uh, as I said, as it becomes clearer, we'll report formally on those, uh, those approaches that we've had from a number of parties. And Peter, just finally, what are you actually up to in Chile? What are your plans while you're there? Uh, look, I'm laying the groundwork for uh, some, well, identifying engineering consultants, metallurgical consultants and... Uh, environmental consultancy groups so that we can actually move the project forward uh, as rapidly as we as we can. Um, the other objective is dealing with uh, or, or working with uh, um, envir an environmental group so that we can actually move forward and some of the statutory requirements that allow us to uh, move forward into the mining phase as quickly as we can. So yeah, we, we're uh, we're, uh, we're taking the view that we have a mine here and we're actually laying the groundwork uh, to get all the approvals that we need uh, over the next uh, 12 months or so. While you're there, Peter, can you just talk us through what you're holding in your hand there? Yeah, look, that's just a fairly typical looking piece of core. It's, uh, it's, it's not uh, completely black so, like some of the stuff that we've been reporting on, some of those huge thick intersections, but this is uh, fairly typical of what we see. So a mixture of magnetite, which is the black material, and the host rock, uh, which is the light grey. Um, and just quickly, just in the background, I'm actually looking south. We have the ocean about a thousand metres to my left, and a uh, local small small village uh, just down the hill. But the entire resource that we're talking about is immediately behind me. Fantastic, Peter. Well, look again. Really appreciate you getting up nice and early to join me today, and all the best for your travels. And thanks for joining me. All right. Thanks for your time, Alex. Cheerio.